This video will cover the basics of using the PL1, such as anchoring and laying out your rope, using the PL1 to ascend your slope, and cleaning up at the end of the day. This video will not cover avalanche safety, which is essential knowledge before any type of backcountry recreation in avalanche terrain. Keep posted for future how-to videos on how to pick an ideal spot for using the PL1. Begin by ascending your desired slope. When you've reached a secure location at the top of your chosen slope, dig a T-shaped trench into the snow. In heavy snow such as this, 30 centimeters or one foot is an adequate depth to bury your snow picket. In lighter snow, it may be necessary to dig a deeper trench to anchor your rope. With the rope secured to your snow picket, firmly bury the picket in the snow perpendicular to the direction of the slope. Give the rope a good tug to make sure it's secure. If using a PL1 in an area with other skiers or snowboarders, we recommend clearly marking the location of your snow anchor using ski poles or whatever is available as a consideration to others. Once your anchor is secure, you can lay out your rope using the rope bag. Check for knots and tangles in your rope as you descend carefully down your desired slope. When you reach the bottom, set down your rope bag and prepare to ascend. We strongly recommend the use of a climbing harness and quick release when using the PL1. Take the device from your bag and insert the handle using the push button. Plug in the throttle and screw it tight. Turn on the device using the power button. The throttle will not respond for five seconds after the device has been powered on. Feed the rope through the guides and pulleys as illustrated on the sticker on the side of the device. Once the rope is under tension, be aware that releasing the throttle can cause the rope to reverse through the pulleys and become unseated. If you don't reset the rope before applying the throttle again, it could cause a jam. When using the device, don't be afraid to fully apply the throttle as this will yield the best results. As the rope is pulled through the device, let the rope pile up between your legs, being careful not to get it snagged on your boots or skis. It's normal for the device to slow down when ascending steeper terrain. When using paracord, you will experience fluctuating speed as the rope stretches and relaxes as the tension varies. Usually, a straight line is the most efficient route, but avoiding bumps and micro-terrain will help get the most out of your battery. Turn off the device when you reach the top, a few meters before your anchor point, and detach the device from the rope. If you unplug the throttle before powering off the device, you may cause the device to run suddenly. With the PL1 safely stored in your backpack, enjoy your descent! When you've finished for the day, Dig up the snow anchor and stash the rope using the PL1 to flake it into the rope bag. Using your rope bag frame to hang the bag from a belt loop or pocket, feed the rope into the rope bag, occasionally stopping to gently pack the rope into the bag. And that's the basics of using the PL1. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for future how-to videos and feel free to ask us any questions in the comments.